Hello traders, welcome to Simple Trading Style and today we are going to talk about daily stock market update and we will figure out is it bull trend or bearish reversal signal what's going on with the stock market world on, on, on daily time frame. And as usually let's move to 5 rules of risk management, please read it and use it and you will be successful. Now let's move to trading view stock market heat map. Uh, let's start it. It, I th it says it says S&P 500. Let's start all USA companies. All USA companies based on the market cap and daily performance. A lot of red. A lot of red, right? Apple positive half percent. Just few stocks, but generally it's a lot of red. A lot of red and flat. Nice. Let's move to uh, my. Let's move to my watch list and we will do technical analysis review. As usually, let's start from USA dollar DXY and uh, daily. I use daily time frame for entry and exit position for my swing trading. And if you want to learn more about trading view setup, just go to the description. There is the link about trading view setup training and other links about all my trainings. I'm using simple moving averages, white line SMA 200, yellow line SMA 20, red line SMA, SMA 10, green line SMA 5. Buy and sell script indicator, MACD indicator, high Kanachi bars indicator and RSI yellow line. That's all. Very simple. It's not easy because emotions involved. But if you follow the indicators, you will be successful because indicators do not have emotions. Look at that. Red circle. Red circle. MA5 green line did bearish crossover over 10. And sell signal from the script. For me, it's entry point. I did put entry point for short. And I did put the blue line. It's a stop above the previous bar. And I did hold short for several bars. I had ability to gain multiple bars. Or I had a, at the same time I could lose only one bar. One bar loss, protection and, and multiple bars ability to gain profit. Um, and I hold it to the, uh, to the cross of the bars. When bars below my 5 look at it, when bars below my 5 it is bearish trend, right? When bars above above my 5 it is bullish trend. You see here bars above my 5 it is bullish trend. One day it did move below my 5 and it came back. Today it came back. What's going on? Let's see. Three days ago we did move lower, it did touch 20 and it connected back to 20 and was rejected. And it, it, 20 was support and it was bounced from 20. Now last bar above MA5, 10 and 20, it is still bullish trend on all indicators. You see all indicators, they did, they did bullish crossover at the same. MA5 did bullish crossover and all indicators did bullish crossover, right? It's aligned train direction. Bullish trend on DXY daily time frame. USA dollar bullish, it's negative for equities. Now let's move to Q's. Let's start Q's. Q's MA5 did bearish crossover over 20 and last bar you see for last six days bars closed below 20 and below 5 and 10. And bearish signal on all indicators. Bearish trend today. Dollar today close plus half percent, Q's minus t almost one percent. Negative Q uh, DXY plus half percent, Q's minus 0 0.85 percent. On daily it's negative, right? So let's see what well, four hours time frame. Four hours time frame it's also bearish because you see last bar still below all moving averages below 5, 10 and 20 and 5 and 10 below 20. All moving averages downtrend. Bearish trend. Bearish trend. On all indicators. Let's see one hour time frame. One hour time frame. Buy signal. 
one hour time frame it did bounce and it touched for last three hours it did touch 20 and looks like it wants to be rejected from 20. So it's nice rebound for last six hours, right? It was nice sell off in the morning and it was rebound afternoon. Nice bullish reversal signal on one hour time frame for Qs. Daily and four hours bearish on one hour time frame bullish. Volatility index. Daily time frame plus one and a quarter percent VXN still bullish. It is bearish. Volatility index VXN for for Nasdaq positive. It is still bullish trend. In the uh, it is bearish for Qs. Now let's move to SPX. SPX S&P 500 daily time frame today minus half percent. And last similar like use last bar for last four days it closed below 20. And my five did bearish crossover over 20. Now it's getting confirmed bearish reversal signal on all indicators. Bearish reversal signal on all indicators. Let's check four hours time frame. Same story. MA5, 10 and below 20 and last bar below 5 10 and 20 bearish reversal signal on all indicators bearish trend one hour time frame even even worse my 25 and 10 did bearish crossover over 200 it is bearish reversal signal yeah it was nice drop first hour and after that it was six hour bullish reversal bullish reversal it did touch the mid 20 and 200 and we'll see it can be rejected from this level because the mid 20 did bearish crossover it's a very powerful bearish crossover on one hour time frame it is positive bullish similar like Qs, right same story powerful but 20 below 200 already for Qs. Okay, now let's move to VIX. Volatility index for VIX minus one and a quarter percent today. Volatility index, I'm sorry, minus plus one and a quarter percent. It is bullish. VIX is bullish, and of course, even today it was very powerful, right? It was very powerful today. It was sold off, and the close plus one and a quarter percent still bullish it is bearish for s p 500 dow jones closed minus half percent ma5 did bearish crossover over 10 bearish reversal signal last bar it touched 20 and we'll see will it continue bearish trend or it will or it will bounce from 20. So far, still in a bearish reversal signal on daily time frame, on four hours time frame, last bar below 20. It actually, it, it is at 20 level. May 5 did bearish crossover. Kind of flat in the price action. Today, yeah, very nice rebound was. Well, let me see. Yeah, it's below MA20. Last bar close below MA20, still bearish trend, right? Still bearish trend on four hours time frame. And one hour time frame. Same story. Nice drop off. One hour and it did nice rebound bounce after that. Fully recovered light, right? It did gap down. It was nice gap down. Bearish trend on yeah on one hour time frame it's more positive, it's more positive, more bullish. VXD plus two and a half percent. Let's see daily. Two and a half percent still bullish. It is bearish for Dow Jones. IWM minus half percent. Last bar closed below twenty. Bearish reversal signal on all indicators. 
on daily time frame let's see four hours time frame stall signal bearish trend on all indicators on four hours time frame also confirmed bearish reversal in 5 and 10 below 20 and one hour time frame similar story it was nice drop nice sell off huge gap down and it was trying to close the gap maybe it will bounce tomorrow close the gap and will continue bearish trend that's what can happen absolutely on one hour time frame it it yeah it's it's getting positive still below 20 buy signal it was maybe it will touch 20 and will be rejected one hour time frame and now let's move to rvx rvx plus two and a half percent on daily time frame still bullish it is negative for iwm apple let's see App apple today was only one equity positive last half percent from the large large stocks right last half percent finally uh it was positive but it's still disconnected from a5 20 and 10. bearish trend on other side it's very oversold other side very oversold still bearish trend four hours time frame same story it is flat on other side it's oversold disconnected from a 10 and 20 bearish trend and one hour time frame it was trying to connect back to MA5, 10 and 20. Uh, some bounce, bullish crossover, positive bullish reversal signal. It's below 20, still bearish trend, but it's trying to connect back to 20. Still bearish trend with yeah, short term time, one hour time frame, positive, positive trend like for all indexes let's see tesla let's start tesla daily may 5 10 below 20 and last bar below 20 bearish trend bearish trend on all indicators yeah let me bring this gap here gap can be support and can be resistant it can touch the gap and be and can be rejected can be support or it can fill the gap and can be rejected we'll see so far it's bearish four hours time frame it's still bearish on all indicators no changes and one hour time frame one hour time frame bullish signal last bar mode above ma5 and 10. still below 20 it's still bearish territory but it's trying to have some positive signal on one hour time frame tesla minus three quarter percent today and after hours minus quarter alibaba group minus two and a half percent let's start daily minus two and a half percent last bar closed below 20. bearish crossover bearish reversal signal on all indicators on daily time frame for hours time frame ma5 and 10 yet bearish crossover over 20 bearish reversal signal on all indicators and one hour time frame bearish crossover last bar below ma10 and 20 about about five and it still in the bearish trend still in the bearish trend even it did kind of balance and cut and, and moved above ma5 still bearish trend nvidia nvidia daily time frame minus half percent one and a half percent and after hours minus half percent already minus one and a half percent last bar below 20 again yesterday it was about today is again below 20 bearish trend on all indicators four hours last bar below my 5 10 and 20 sell signal bearish trend on all indicators bearish reversal signal one hour time frame 
One hour time frame still below 20. Let's see, it touched 200 today. Or like one, two, four hours, five hours. Five hours it, each time it each time it touched 200 and it was rejected. MA 200 very strong support. You see here it was very strong support and it did bounce from it. Same here, it can bounce or it will continue bearish. We'll see. My 5 can do bearish crossover, my 10 and 20 can do bearish crossover. So far bearish signal, but in this case it is fight between the MA20 and the MA200. Now let's move to Microsoft. Microsoft today minus one and a quarter percent. MA5 and 10 and, and bar still below 20, still bearish trend on all indicators. No changes. Four hours time frame. Still bearish trend on all indicators on 4 hours time frame, last bar below 5, 10 and 20. Sell signal from the script, bearish trend. And 1 hour time frame. 1 hour time frame, buy signal. Buy signal and yeah, Hekonachi green, but still bearish. Yeah, it moved above my 5 but still below 10 and 20, still bearish territory, bearish signal. It's connected back to, to 10, still in the bearish trend. And let's move to Amazon. Amazon minus one and a half percent also today, daily time frame. After that huge bounce up, 8% move up, uh, it left huge gap, right? Huge gap. And looks like, we'll see, I believe this gap will be closed because of the bearish divergence, as I told you. You see, if we, it has huge bullish trend. And at the same time, it has bearish divergence. It has bearish divergence on the, on the RSI, on the MACD. Very multiple bearish divergences. Amazon wants to have corrections. Same like Apple. Apple had huge corre bearish divergences and, and now it's in a huge correction. Amazon will correct will be in a correction too. Still bullish on daily. Four hours. Still bullish also on all indicators. It moved below five, but still about 10 and 20. Still disconnected from my five from, from my 10 and 20. Still bullish and one hour time frame. It's already it did bearish reversal, but it didn't move below 20. Still above 20, it's in a positive bullish territory. All indicators already bearish, but last bar still above my 5 and 20. It has bearish reversal, my 5 did bearish reversal. Bearish crossover over 10, but looks like 20 strong support. It couldn't make bearish crossover over 20 yet that's all let's do summary let's do summary like i told you already all indexes and equities in a bearish reversal trend on daily and four hours time frame they all kind of positive on one hour time frame they did bounce it's common it's you it's normal uh, market never goes straight down. It, it has to have bounces and it will be bounces like I told you because market generally is still in a bullish trend and investors they will buy every dip. Look at it weekly. It's a weekly tr trend. Last bar is still about 10 and still disconnected from 20. It's already built. You see bearish reversal on weekly time frame. But generally it is still positive because it is still about 20. That's why I'm expecting that buyers will buy every, every dip. They will buy every dip until we close below 20. We'll see. Some event can change a trader's direction, can change investor's direction, and it can make it bearish. But so far it is bearish reversal with still by the deep mode you see one day bearish second day bullish bearish bullish bearish bullish that's what we should expect and it's normal behavior we should we should be ready for it 
Dow Jones is a weekly, it's still bullish, completely positive. At the same time, on daily, it already gave us bearish reversal, right? That's what we have, that's what we observe. It's in a bearish reversal trend. If you are still bullish, uh, just trust your indicators. Trust indicators and follow the indicators. Don't fight with the indicators. Now let's move to disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. This video for educational and informational purposes only. And remember, for educational purposes, we are using paper trading simulator as long as we need to get constantly profitable. Please read it. Thank you for watching simple trading style videos. I do publish daily, weekly, monthly updates for stocks, ETFs, indexes, and cryptos. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Click like button to support this channel. I really appreciate all your efforts. Thank you so much and good luck. Bye now, traders.